We're here today at the United for 100 Years exhibition at DC Thompson. Uh, today we've had our first team down for a, a meet and greet with the fans. It's been really good. Uh, we had several hundred people here coming through the door, being able to meet the players, meet the manager, and also see some of the, the exhibition here on display. It's been a really good day to interact with the fans, um, get some photos, sign a few autographs as well, and, and for the fans to see some of the, the memorabilia that was on store for, for them to see. This is part of our wider celebrations for the 100 Years campaign. We obviously have the Arbroath game coming up. Uh, at the end of the month, uh, we have the dinner taking place this week as well, the gala dinner, so this was a real opportunity to put some of our history on display for perhaps people that haven't seen it before. I think if you've not come to Canadise or been in the hospitality lounges, then this sort of stuff is, is hidden away, so it's really good to, to be able to showcase it and things people perhaps wouldn't have seen otherwise. Coming in, seeing all the old stuff, and especially from my point of view, because I worked on the newspaper, seeing an old copy of the Sporting Post from May the 14th, 1983. I loved that newspaper. It's the tangibleness of it. that You're able to get in about it and, and see the stuff that the club owns. Brilliant for the fans, really brilliant for the fans. A lot of work goes into setting up an event like this. This has been months of planning with our friends at DC Thompson and the Courier that this event has been presented by. A big challenge was making sure that the items here were worthwhile of United fans coming down to see, and I think we've, we've really nailed that. It's uh, great to to be here with my ex-teammates uh, or my old teammates. Um, today, you know, we're not sure what to expect. Uh, and again, the fans turn up uh, in good numbers. And uh, a lot of the fans are obviously our age, so they realise uh, um, what's happened over the last hundred years. Uh, they've seen a good part of it. I think the city of Dundee's benefited from it, especially being in the school holidays. We've seen a lot of kids coming down and it's probably one of the only free to view exhibitions or, or days out you can have in the area at this time so it's been a real success.